Mucomist is a prescription medication used to treat or prevent the buildup of mucus in the lungs. It works by breaking down mucus, which makes it easier to cough up for removal. In this video, we will provide an overview of Mucomist, including its uses, dosage, side effects, and more. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, Mucomist is the brand name for acetocysteine which is a mucolytic agent used to help break up mucus in patients with respiratory conditions. It is administered with a nebulizer, which breaks up a liquid solution into tiny aerosol particles that can be inhaled into the lungs. Mucomist is most commonly administered to treat or prevent mucus buildup in patients with lung diseases. This drug is most often indicated for the treatment or prevention of mucus buildup in the following respiratory conditions. Chronic bronchitis, emphysema, bronchiectasis, pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, and atelectasis that is due to a mucus obstruction. Also, acetylcysteine can be administered orally as an antidote for an acetaminophen overdose, but more on that later. The standard dose for mucomus for adults when administered via nebulization is 1 to 10 milliliters of the 20% solution, or 2 to 20 milliliters of the 10% solution. It can be administered every two to six hours and is typically performed by a respiratory therapist. The patient can use a mask or mouthpiece with a nebulizer in order to inhale the mucomist solution. Mucomist is effective in helping to break up mucus, but it can also cause a few side effects including coughing, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, runny nose, dyspnea, wheezing, and throat irritation. Bronchoconstriction is an adverse side effect of mucomist. Therefore, a bronchodilator is often administered in order to help open the airways and prevent wheezing. Mucomist is contraindicated in patients who are allergic or sensitive to the drug. And as previously mentioned, bronchoconstriction is a common side effect of this medication. Therefore, patients with asthma or other obstructive lung diseases must be monitored closely while mucomist is being delivered. If bronchospasm occurs, it can usually be treated and reversed with an inhaled bronchodilator drug, such as albuterol. I mentioned this term earlier, but what exactly is a mucolytic agent? Well, mucus is a sticky, vicious substance that is produced by the mucous membranes. It serves an important role by trapping foreign particles and bacteria, which prevents them from entering the body. However, mucus can also build up and cause problems, especially in people with respiratory conditions. This is when mucolytic agents would be indicated because they work to dissolve mucus, which makes it easier to expectorate. The two primary types of mucolytic agents are acetylcysteine and Dornase alpha. The key thing to remember about Dornase alpha is that it is an inhaled drug that is most commonly administered to treat patients with cystic fibrosis. However, in this video, we are focusing on acetylcysteine. If you've administered the drug before, then you may be wondering, why does mucomus smell so bad? Mucomist is definitely known for its distinct, foul-smelling odor, which has often been described to smell like rotten eggs. That is because the acetylcysteine molecule contains sulfur, which explains why it has such a distinct smell. The odor can be strong at first, but the good news is that it tends to dissipate over time. And earlier I mentioned that acetylcysteine can also be used to treat an acetaminophen overdose. Acetaminophen is a common pain reliever that is found in over-the-counter medications such as Tylenol. While it is generally safe when used as directed, it can be toxic in large doses. Acetaminophen toxicity can lead to liver damage and even death in severe cases. However, acetylcysteine can be administered orally to treat or prevent a hepatic injury that may occur after an acetaminophen overdose. It helps replenish depleted reserves in the liver that can enhance the non-toxic metabolism of acetaminophen. In this case, the sooner acetylcysteine is administered, the better the chance of preventing liver damage. 
If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friends.